Hey guys, welcome to another FAQ video that I'm doing. Um, the other ones seemed to cut it just enough, but I had a couple more questions that were thrown at me, and I decided to answer them the best I could through this video. Um, there are just two questions in this one that are answered, but I answered them to the best of my ability, and if you have any more, and if I get enough, I will make another one of these videos. Um, if you don't have any use for these videos, if you don't have any use for the FAQs, then please disregard these videos. These are just going to the people that need um, an explanation that is verbal or a further explanation or advice. Thank you. One more question that I... I actually, I just got a few of these at a guitar store I was just at. Um, I was helping one of my friends choose a guitar. And I was sitting by the amps, and I was playing the guitar, helping him test them, um, going through all the sounds. And... A bunch of questions that his friends and him himself was asking me, uh, was, you know, what kind of pedals are good? Is this pedal good with this one? Um, what kind of, you know, what amp combination is the best? And that question co comes up a lot, you know, and it comes up a lot to somebody that, that you know, will play or anything like that. And if you if you play and you, you play live and you have preferences, then you know that everything is based on your personal choice. I can't give you any advice for certain things uh, that involve what is the best. If the answer, you know, the, what's the worst or what is the best, um, the only answers I can give you are extremely limited. I can give you one that's limited to my own personal experiences with them, my preferences, or uh, my biased opinions. Like, I, I play metal music and I, I play hard rock and things like that. So if you ask me what a blues driver is like for, for guitar, um, I'm gonna say I don't I don't like it all that much, and you're gonna think, well, it sucks. But it's not th that's not what it is. It's the fact that I don't use that pedal. I have no use for that sp that particular item. So um, I couldn't tell you. And all these pedals, some of them I don't have any experience with. Like I don't have any experience with the bass synth. I've never needed one, so I couldn't tell you how good it is. So if you ask me, hey, what's the best bass synth? Um, I couldn't give you a straight answer. I can tell you, well, I've researched them, and this one looks good, but, I mean, again, it's all based on your preference. So, my advice to you, and this is going to a few specific people, but my advice to you is if you have um, an, an array of pedals that, you, that are in, in your head, what you do is you have to heavily research them. Google the pedals first. When you think of an item to buy, or when you think of anything that could possibly do anything to your sound, Google it. Go on Google, um, research it first. Research it on, you know, on the website for where you can find that item. Research it on Wikipedia. Research it wherever you can find that website. Research it on Musician's Friend. Um, look at all the reviews for it. Then get on YouTube. Look for that item anywhere on here. Look for sound clips, demos, all that kind of stuff. And if, you know, if, if, it's going to be about a month before you buy it. Ask questions, you know. Um, go on YouTube videos, ask questions. Like, you know, does it do good for this kind of music? Um, all that kind of stuff. You can give it about a month for somebody to answer you back, you know, just for a good measure. And you'll get a good understanding of it. The best thing that you can do, this is going to be, this is uh, specific to the ones that I'm talking to or if you actually have access to a store, is to go to a store, go to go to a, a guitar store where they they'll have pedals and things like that. I have one near me. It's in a city called Waterford. It's called Motor City Guitar, and they're absolutely amazing. It's a mom and pop shop, but they're amazing. They have pedals, pickups, all these kind of things that you wouldn't expect a small store to have, but it's huge. It is a big store. Um, but you can go to your local guitar center. I don't know how guitar center works. I'm not sure if they'll let you take pedals out or anything to, to use them, but you can. Go anywhere. Basically, ask them. Like, I, I'd like to run through these pedals. I'd like to run through this amp system with my equipment. You'd bring in your guitar, bring in your guitar in a case or your bass inside of a case, um, and just kind of. I mean, you don't need to bring in your half stack or anything, but just bring in those things. Find something that kind of is like your amp, and then run through these pedals. Um, run through all these different amps, whatever you can do to get your own sound. That's the only way you're ever going to find out what's the best of anything um, without actually purchasing any, any of it. Don't ever buy something on impulse and don't buy something because people say it's the best. Don't ever do that. If you get, it gets reviews for five stars, you'll find no use for it. Like there are bass synths out there that are absolutely pristine. It doesn't mean that I need it. It doesn't mean that you need it. Um, just research as much as you can. 
um, ask questions, and then after that, it's a risk, but you can buy it if you want to. And some of them, some companies will let you ret uh, return them if you don't like them. But that's the best that I can answer that question for the particular people that I needed to answer that for. So if you have any more, then just ask me. Thank you. Lastly, I'm going to talk about sound quality. Um, I haven't really gotten many questions on this, but I, I get a comment here or there, and I actually hear the videos myself. And the sound quality isn't as good as it can be. I know that for a fact. Um, I've invested in some different video equipment, some audio equipment, um, a lot of different methods that I'm going to use to make better sound quality videos in the future, but also restore some of the ones that I had previously. So um, a couple things that you'll be able to see is I might redo a few videos. Um, I might actually do a few covers over anything that you know that I've demonstrated the bass tracks in or anything like that, guitar tracks, where I just don't like the audio and it just ruins the entire video, then I'll probably repost those videos. Um, if it's a really long video and I have a lot of talking in it, and there's a lot of information, but the, just the sound quality is bad for the instrument that I'm playing, then I'm probably going to re-record the, the clips of the sound quality and then annotate them in those parts for those videos. So if I have a video where I'm talking a lot and in the middle I have a sound quality problem with the bass, then I will make a new video, just a new clip, um, in place of that one, and then just annotate that part of the video so you can just get a better sound quality. And the other thing that I might do is... If I have uh, a cover that is extremely popular, um, that's higher up on the YouTube searches, then I might redo the videos, but I'll, um, I'll keep them unlisted, and I'm annotating the videos, the newer videos, within the older covers. So I'll make a new cover with better sound quality, annotate the link to that cover in the old cover, and you'll be able to go back and check on it. So um, from the end of December, so after the 27th, all the way to beginning 2011. From then on, I'm going to be making... I'm probably going to finish making all the restored videos for the previous ones that I've done um, with sound quality right around January, and then from January on, all my new videos will have a better sound quality. So, thanks for staying very patient with me. I'll be able to fix them as much as possible um, coming very shortly. So... If you guys have any more suggestions on anything that I can do to improve the channel or any kind of questions that, uh, that you're curious about or curious about, um, please drop me by a comment, a uh, message. I'm listening. Uh, I, I might get busy once in a while, but I, I'll read them. So I'll do the best I can to fix them. Thank you.